Hi everyone, I'm Casey. I'm a Monaco Hair Extensions Educator and so what we're going to do today with our lovely guest Krista, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a proper quick blow dry with all the right products and if you're using all the right products anything is possible. With our blow dry what we're going to use first is our run through detangling primer from Orbe. Huge shout out. This is a great product for extensions plus natural hair. So when it comes to natural hair as well as extensions I'm going to go through and I'm going to section off before I actually brush through and I'm going to spray lightly each section. This eliminates any tangling from whenever I do go through each section of the extensions plus her natural hair. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take our Monaco extension detangling brush and I'm going to start detangling her hair from ends to mid shaft to root all the way through taking section by section starting with her natural hair underneath and going up against her extensions which her grow out from we did her extensions about I believe five weeks ago she has great grow out from that so we're gonna go making sure we're brushing through all the west in like a scooping motion I'm taking my time and brushing through each row of these extensions making sure I'm hitting all of the west once her hair is fully detangled, I'm going to go in with our second step, which is our Maximista by Orbe. It's a thickening spray. What I'm going to do, I'm going to really focus on her natural hair with this, also towards the front of her natural hair as well. So this will give her some nice volume for her nice round brush blowout on her natural hair. Again, taking little sections. The last product that we're going to be using is our Imperial Blowout by Orbe. So this is a cream consistency, so what we're going to do is taking a small amount, rubbing it all the way through your hands, making sure we're starting from ends, mid shaft, all the way up, going section by section as well. Dropping that down, going to her extensions. Okay, so now that all the product has been applied to her hair, I'm gonna go ahead and section off her natural hair from her extensions and we're gonna start the blow dry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna section off her top first and then I'm gonna section off in a different clip all of her extensions and start underneath with the round brush on her natural hair underneath. Okay, so now that all the hair is sectioned off, I have her natural hair all the way around her perimeter. Sectioned off up here is all of her extensions and then on top is her natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin our blow dry. So now I'm finishing up our round brush section on her natural hair. The reasoning for why we do this is so underneath of her extensions, we don't want anything to be frizzy or her natural hair to stand out. So we just want to make sure we're focusing on making it nice and smooth and polishing the ends very nice. Now I'm going to drop down her extensions on top of her natural hair and I'm just going to start with a power dry for the extensions. Even with a power dry with extensions, we're still wanting to go ahead and do section by section. On a normal hand tied extension application, we do about three rows. So with Krista, we do have three rows of hand tied extensions in right now. She has about five weeks of grow out. So we're just gonna make sure we're not pulling or anything too rough, but we're still gonna make sure we do get a nice rough dry. So we're really focusing on getting her roots dry first and then taking it forward through the ends, hitting the mid shaft all the way to the ends, but really focusing on that root area. What we're doing is we're blow drying in a downward flow. This will eliminate frizz completely. And also keeping it nice and smooth. So even though I am power drying, I'm still using our Monaco Extension Detangling Brush and I'm taking smaller sections and I'm starting at the root, making sure it is dry and following all the way through towards the ends. Now that I've finished with her first row, I'm just gonna go back through and just double check that her roots are completely dry before moving on. Still keeping the blow dryer down in a downward flow but going all the way around, making sure everything's dry. And then I will go ahead and bring it all the way through mid shaft to ends. Also directing her hair backwards, away from her face. Okay, 
So lastly what I'm doing is just going through and just polishing her ends with our Gold Gloss Nourishing Hair Oil from Orbe. Just one pump, grabbing it all the way through your hands, just focusing on her ends, mid shaft, and all the way up. Okay, so we're all done with our blow dry. So with the proper products and the proper practice, you can finish that blow dry in about 20 minutes at home. So thanks for watching and good luck.